Hey everybody, hey, we are on a project in Ramona. It's a custom home that we're building, and we've done a couple updates on this job in the past, and I wanted to show you what's going on today. We actually have the exterior paints complete, the roof is done, the solar panels are on, and we got the cabinets being finished. They're almost done inside, and the electrician is actually trimming out today, and the finished carpenter is finishing some closets. So wanted to get you a walk around and take you inside and show you what's going on. Yeah, in one of our other videos, you were seeing the septic system. We've done a couple on them, but this is that alternative septic system. It's how all of these look on the outside. Uh, all these tank lids <laughs> that come in here. So this is how it lays out. Instead of having like, you got two risers maybe coming out of the ground on a or your regular system. This is what this ends up looking like. So, and then you can see the controller box is back over that way. This is the back back porch. It's nice covered area. Then you can see how this they put the rafters in here. It's all open. Right here you got tongue and groove. Got the rafters. So those are four by eight rafters, and it's all stained. And that right there is for a uh, for a fan uh, to mount right there on the outside there to hang down. So that block that's put up in there. And this runs all the way down. These are those Duration Max shingles. So high definition. So they they got uh, they're a little thicker and they look they look real nice. So you can see them on there. So this is the back of this RV bay. We're walking around. This RV bay is I think it's 60 feet long. You can see down this whole side here how far it's got a I don't know what the height of the ceiling is on here. You know the, the wall height, but it's pretty significant. It's a nice nice spot for the owners to pull, pull their RV in here. But we'll go ahead now and we'll go ahead and take a walk inside. So we're in here in the kitchen now and Hugh, the electrician. The FBI is looking for him. <laughs> Shoot, they found you. <laughs> so he's he's actually moving over the electrical box that we were talking about a few weeks ago. That that when the backsplash change happened and it's full height, it was it wasn't hitting the right spot. So he's moving that over. This is exactly what we were talking about needed to happen. So he's in the middle of doing that right now. So the, since we were, were in here before, when Brandon was showing you the cabinets, uh, the, these weren't finished. So now they're now they're finished. We got the stain on each side of the hood. The hood is done there. That's a it's wood, and then that'll end up getting a recessed uh, vent in there. And then this is we still got to get glass in these. And this is the, the white cabinets that are going in. They'll get hardware as well. You can see this is the island. It got it got stained as well. So and then these lowers, these lower cabinets are all paint grade against the wall here. And this is stained here. And this is where the sink is going to end up sitting right here, the farm sink. And then this looking over, you can see there's a pair of full height cabinets that are on each side of the fireplace. So that's all going to get stone. That's a fireplace extraordinaire unit. So it's a nice unit. It's got air intake from the outside that uh, it's on the back porch. So it'll have a hearth and all the way up to the ceiling, you're going to have stone. So as you walk in, I'm standing at the front door right now. We got a piece of wood in front of us, but this is it. It's got the scissor truss that uh, has that gives you a little bit more height in this room, and, uh, and then you got the nice slider looking right out the back. So doors have been finished. You can see the paint that's done. Some of the closets are still getting built. So the finished carpenters here, these are, haven't been finished yet, but you can get an idea. Kind of they're doing some shelves on this one side here, and they'll have a double shelf and pull here and then this is not exactly sure what's going to happen this here but they have the this is a low volt cabinet so they have all the low voltage wires that are coming in here so you can see all that that's all wrapped up in the bottom down there let's go ahead and take a look down we'll run down the hallway here so check out the size of these these cabinets here this is like i bet that's probably 12 feet or so long going nine feet tall all the storage space in the in the hallway here so this is all cabinets here and then in this area we got a bathroom so we come on in here this is your toilet area as you come in and then this is we got cabinets here that are finished 
it's going to be a double vanity so you got one sink that's going to go right here and then you got another sink going over here and then this is a tiled it's a tub shower so you can see that that tapes on there to protect the face of it plywood as well so it doesn't end up getting scratched up during the build and this will be the tile guys will come here and they'll they'll go ahead and float on top of this they'll put their lath and their paper uh, all that the wire all will go on here it'll flush out with about the face of that drywall and the tile will get built out on top of that so that's uh that's that and then this is a big old niche like a linear niche that you can see here that this will all this whole area that we framed out here you can see that's the bottom of it right there and then coming up that's the top so this will all be like a big old long soap niche like five feet long so this is another bedroom down this way and these this closet has actually gotten finished out looks like they been painting in here and you can see there's been built out a stack of shelving and they got a double shelf and pole in here actually th three shelves in this one up here you can see it up top there we're gonna hang a left and we got another bedroom here so this has a another closet in here so it's got a bunch of shelving here and not see these yeah, we don't have lights in here yet so but this is uh this is what we got going on in here we'll walk over and this is the master so going down to the master got a nice slider going out the back window on each side of the bed wall it's there it's got the vaulted ceilings in here it's done with a scissor truss and then this is the bathroom so we've showed a couple videos in here, but the cabinets are finished out. Now they get stain grade on those, the shaker panel door. So this is a five piece drawer front. So this is, these things look, they look like the, the door itself. So you can see that. So it's got the same profile as the door. So you can see these here, that's, that's what we call um, five piece drawer front. So these would be, you could get these like a slab, but this would be all one level. So, and those are a little bit cheaper to do them that way. This is where the zero barrier shower is going. We've shown this before. This has all got a hot mop on it for waterproofing and it's all plumbed in. And then this has, this is that big old linear stoke niche as well. This whole thing is probably, this one's almost eight feet long. That's running all the way down. It's gonna be a big old soap niche. So big old tall uh, shower head high up there. And you got your toilet area. This is where the tub's gonna sit right over here. And this is kind of, actually you had seen before, Brandon had done a video of how this got set up here. This is for the uh, faucet for this tub, uh, how it's put in with a slab on grade. So you can kind of take a look at that and see what that looks like. So this is a uh, toilet area. This is the master closet. And you can see that, that he's got this built. This looks like this is gonna have some shelving put in still. It's not still not done. And, on the wall here he's got all this sketched out on the wall and you can see what he's getting ready to build and you can see all the shelving on this side over here too this is the actual attic space here we've been up in there too showing you some of the dehumidifiers and things that are going in there let's go ahead now and i'm going to walk out of here we're going to walk down out through the kitchen and we'll kind of show you into that garage a little bit of a mess out there where you can see what's happening out there uh, on the way here we just went through the kitchen there and this is the pantry so you can see what's going on in here he's starting to build the shelving in here and he's got all this marked out on the walls as well see how the lines going up for the shelves so he's in the middle of building this right now this here's another little half bath uh, right off the kitchen here so you got a little vanity here and toilet area right there this is the laundry cabinets like where the washer and dryer are gonna go so it's set up off the ground so you can see this back here this is actually that's like where the dryer vent will go it's recessed in there so it doesn't stick way out you know it's not sticking out way past you know out into the space so you can actually get that duct pushed up into that back space you know the recessed wall and that wall is like uh that looks like it's a two by six wall we make it a little bit deeper it makes it easier to get it in so instead of a two by four 
You can see here more drawers, countertop space, a little bench that you can sit on, and then just a ton of space for storage. This is this RV bay. It just runs all the way down. So it's a it's huge, uh, nice space. So you can see how tall the doors are in here. Make sure you get everything in you want. So this here is a ridge beam that uh, Finnish Carper is going to be putting this up. We already put all the backing in the wall, and it's going to be going up on the ridge inside the uh, the great room area. And it's a nice piece of lumber. So this thing will be up there pretty soon. They'll stain this. It's going to look real nice. So he's got. I think he said it's 30 feet long. Or it's 30 feet or so he's got to get two genie lifts to lift it up and then get that thing in place once he's got it ready to go he's got to do some Lincoln log cuts here to get this thing to tie together so these will end up getting notched and then uh, pieced together so they'll end up lapping so he'll make a cut on them like this he'll cut this out like that and then notch the other one this is opposite way and then piece them together all right well hope you enjoyed that tour here of this custom home project if you'd like more information about building a custom home or building adu or doing a whole house remodel uh, visit our website at freemansconstruction.com you can go to our resources page you can get a ton of information there on pricing and floor plans we got a faq section that has a ton of answers to a lot of questions you might have so make sure you check it out so thanks again and we'll see you again soon